Hello class. Today our lecture will be based on Ohm's law. In this video, we will see how what how to derive Ohm's law's equation. What are the terms involved in Ohm's law? What are the what basically is Ohm's law? So let us start. In Ohm's law, basically it determines the relationship between voltage and current. Voltage is measured in volts and current is measured in amperes. So this is uh, this on your screen is the statement for Ohm's law. So basically Ohm's law states that at a constant temperature, the voltage or potential difference between two points is directly proportional to the current or electricity passing through the resistance and directly proportional to the resistance of the circuit. So basically, this is the diagram and equation. Let me show you through screen recording. So whiteboard. So basically what I'm trying to say is there is a relationship between voltage represented by V and I. I for current. And what this relationship means, V is directly proportional to I. In a circuit, the voltage in the circuit is directly proportional to I, which means if we increase, if we increase voltage, current will also increase there will be increase in current also. If there is a decrease in voltage, decrease in voltage, there will be a decrease in current also. This is all this Ohm's law states in the most simplistic form. And now we will remove the constant of proportionality, which will then determine us V is equal to I and R. Now we are, what does this R represent? R means resistance. R is our resistance. Resistance. And resistance is measured in ohms represented by this symbol. This is the symbol for representing our resistance. And where has this, from where has this R emerged? The source of R is this constant of proportionality. On removing a constant of, on removing proportionality, we include a constant. And here in our case, it is the resistance, simple. Let us further move to the screen and further determine. Now, V is directly proportional to R, IR, which means if we increase voltage, the current in the circuit will increase, so will be the resistance. There is a direct proportionality between the two terms. Here is the representation of the graph in the middle. And we can see here is a linear relationship. Linear means the slope is linear. It has no curves. It is straight. And there is a re linear relationship between voltage and current. And if we inverse it, on inversing our relationship becomes like this. On reversing it, we earlier had V is equal to I R. Let me erase it. V is equal to 
I and R. On inversing it, I is equal to V divided by R. Now let us come to the formula, Ohm's law's formula. Ohm's law states that voltage is equal to current into resistance. We represent voltage by V, current by I, and resistance by R. So this relationship determines our resistance. And the SI unit of resistance is ohms, OHMS ohms, and is denoted by this symbol. It is on your screen shown as. This law is one of the most basic laws of electricity. It was, it has formed the basis. Basically, it is the first relationship between voltage and current. So obviously this, this is the most basic law of electricity. It helps us to calculate the power, efficiency, current, voltage, and resistance of an element of an electrical circuit. But mind you, this voltage and current relationship determined by Ohm's law is only in case of an electrical circuit. And electric circuit, as you know, is the complete path of the current. If you can, you can record all these things in your notebook. Let me show you some more things on the whiteboard. The unit of voltage is equal to volts. volts the unit of i is ampere and r is equal to v upon i so basically let me is this So resistance R is equal to V upon A, voltage upon amperes, and this is ohms. So in any case, if we have two of the terms determined between these three R, V, and I. If we know the two terms, we can calculate the third value. For example, let us have an electrical circuit shown like this. This is the resistance. This is how resistance is shown in a circuit. This is a voltage source. And the line here shows the current flowing in the circuit represented by V and this is R. This is the R. For example, if the value of V is 10 volts and current flowing is 2 amperes, find out the resistance. So resistance will be 10 upon 2 is equal to 5 ohms. This is how we calculate resistance in the circuit. Hope all of you will have understand this topic. Thank you very much.